Facing Our Truth, 10 Minute Plays on Trayvon Race and Privilege. So excited to see the production here at National Black Theater. So excited the audience received it. It was moving, it was thought provoking, it was emotional. Having an opportunity to reflect and think about the things that happen to us every single day. It was painful, it was magical. It was creative. I think a lot of times when it comes to movements um, with uh, African American people, a lot of times we get stifled and we forget after a couple of months. So to have something annual like this is, is really, really good because this is constantly happening all over. I'm feeling all kinds of emotions right now. Uh, Trayvon's birthday today. It had a lot of psychological um, impact. I feel like the show forced me to think about a lot of things that you kind of think about but you kind of push back or you get so busy you force yourself to not think about these things because they hurt so much. I'm a mother of a four-year-old and so the second to last piece just hit home um, because you do go through this process of trying to protect your children and um, you know at the end they're on their own. They're going to have to stand by themselves. So I'm the mother of a 24-year-old son and a 25-year-old daughter. So playing the mother in the piece dressing was, mm, it was a challenge. So to take that journey, just even for moments at a time, is is a challenge that I, I can't really explain. And and I and I. Mm, And I think about Trayvon's mother, and it just, it'll never be okay for her. And it should never be okay with us. It should never be okay. Everybody is somebody's child. Everybody has a mother. It was amazing. It really made me think about the value of our children, the value of educating our children. Uh, and just the value of teaching our children that they are not a burden um, and that they will excel. They are worth it. They are enough. They don't have to be anything else that society expects of them and dress in a certain way and talk in a, way, in a certain way. They are enough. Um, the skits definitely made you think. And, you know, a couple of them that were really strong for me. Um, the, the last one, of course, where, you know, the woman really had to walk in the shoes of a black man. But it was so powerful, and when she couldn't take off the hoodie, and she was just begging for her life, I mean, I really sort of felt that it was a great way to demonstrate, to show, or to get me to think about empathy with people who can't take off their skin. You know, the hoodie represented black skin. The plays are doing the best they can of helping us to walk in those shoes. Me and Trayvon Martin are one and the same. We are no different. The only thing is that he happened to die that day, um, and I, I'm fortunate to be here speaking to you today. Um, but as far as human beings, we, we're all just human beings, and his life was cut short unfairly. And it's, um, it's such a shame to see so many young brothers be cut down and for nothing.